Okay, so this is removing pins from a board. The Senate save you some of the monotony. I've already removed most of them. These pins are gold plated copper cores. Uh, the method I'm going to show you here only works really well with gold and copper. So you don't want to mix any other metals with it. So we're only going to be removing these pins down to the solder level. You're going to notice that I'm going to be removing the pins in two layers. And the reason is, is that when I squeeze them with the pliers first, the cutters here, you're going to see that they, the cutters want to slide up. So I don't get down to the solder line. So the second cut gets to the solder line and the rest of the board is processed differently later for the rest of the gold in the bottom of the pins. This method is just for copper and gold. So for removal, very much like this, yeah, make sure to well oil or else your hand will be sore. This does get tiresome after a while. And that removes it down to the solder level, maybe a little bit left, but I'd rather have a little bit left than have solder in what I'm doing. And that's pretty much that board. The rest I'd already done. Uh, oh, two pins right there. So it takes about 10 minutes to do a board. Your hand's a bit tired after. If you had, uh, we have about 35 or 40 of these to do. So this would be better with a pneumatic nibbler. Uh, so once you're done, you'll notice I'm doing this with a place with a backstop uh, to try and keep them from flying around when you cut them. Uh, without the backstop, uh, you're looking for them. They don't tend to fly backwards, they tend to fly to the front and to the side. So if you got a little bit of space on the side or something up to protect them, they're a little bit heavy, they don't go far, uh, you'll catch them. So once you've finished the board, the board pretty much looks like that. Uh, you can grab another board. and you can start I'll show you this long one and you start the whole process over again now and these ones it works best with the this down uh, every set of cutters works better a certain way this way I can't cut as close I have to use them this way just the way they're designed uh, so here, here's a long set So that there is the how that's done. And so now they're cut down to the solder level and um, the solder can't be placed in the hydrochloric acid um, mixture that I'm gonna show you later, hydrochloric and um, hydrogen peroxide. So this has to be processed later in nitric acid to get the gold um, and not have the silver mix in and we'll remove these with heat we'll just heat the back of it with a blowtorch and as you're going along they'll fall out it doesn't take much effort uh, the solder is very soft so just to give you an idea now these pins are going to be the pins from um, one board plus that line I showed you so a little bit more than one board, but we'll say for all intents and purposes, ostensibly it's one board, because I probably got one line on the floor here to sweep up. Uh, they do fly around a bit, like I say, they're not hard to find. I'm doing this in the kitchen, 
Uh, Nadine is sleeping, my wife. Um, that's the best time to do this in the house. Um, and have it cleaned up before they wake up because they tend to get upset by this stuff. And probably rightfully so. So, there is basically the pins oops, from one board, more or less. You know, you know, I don't know how well, maybe that light's in the way. Okay, so now we'll take our the scale and we'll turn it on and zero the tray oops just one second okay so you should be able to See there, that the tray is zeroed. Okay. There we go. Camera must have took over. Okay, so there's zeroed. And I'm going to take the tray off and scoop the pins into the tray. And there is almost 50 grams 49.6 grams of pins so one and a half troy ounces 30.1 uh, troy ounces 31.31.3 grams to the troy ounce um, or almost two regular ounces when I get the pins off the ground so every three boards is a quarter pound more or less or about uh, 5.6 troy ounces which I have in right now so we're going to see how much coal we get off that now of course the core of these is copper um, you'll notice I don't have any solder I'll go through it after to double check and just quickly make sure that there is none and uh, because it seems to not help the reaction uh, with the HCL uh, solution and uh, We'll show you what we get so I have um, a bunch more of these boards to do when I get them all done I will uh, show you roughly what I got that I haven't already processed because I'm gonna be processing along the way and uh, but I'll get a nice batch together of this and uh, then we'll show you what we get out of it once we process it okay and this is uh, like again uh, HCL process uh, copper core uh, gold plated.